it's always interesting when the attorney of the person in court just knows that, hey, my client, they might wild out a little bit. Like, and then it happens. So let's find out what, uh, what exploding means in this video. One record 03 CR 0288, Commonwealth versus Percy Allen Phillips. Next, we head to Jefferson County Circuit Court in Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, Jay Lambert, on behalf of uh, Mr. Phillips, Your Honor, he's present and seated next to me. A hearing is underway to determine if 45 year old Percy Phillips is competent to stand trial. Phillips is accused of retaliating against a witness inside the courtroom during a previous trial. And it would be our position that. Mr. Phillips is presently incompetent to stand trial. If we end up in trial, there is no way I can competently even frame a defense. I have asked Mr. Phillips, what do you want me to say or do at your trial? And he won't tell me. He literally, for years, has not said a word. Before turning things over to the prosecution, Phillips' lawyer issues a warning. Mr. Phillips has shared that he doesn't know exactly what he'll do in certain situations in the courtroom. He thinks he just may explode. Now it's over to the prosecution. Your Honor, it's interesting to remember that the conclusion of the case when the defendant was unhappy with the verdict and unhappy with the sentence, he threatened the police officer who testified against him. Bang him! Black. <laughs> you up, man. <laughs> we got to go back really quick. Watch this. Old, okay, this guy. Sometimes they. I, I understand. Like, hey, people need a job and stuff like that. You've been there for a minute. You've you've earned your spot. But some of these offers that, that they have in the in the courtroom are just not equipped to stop people if it suddenly goes down. They're just not equipped for it. Watch this man. This that was actually kind of funny a little bit. He threatened the police officer who testified against him. Bang him. Black. Okay, it's like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, haze. Okay, that's not fun. Day was 16 to 239. I had to uh, stun Percy Phillips. You want to come on up? Remember that just moments earlier, Phillips' attorney seemingly predicted what was about to happen. He thinks he just may explode. After sitting for more than 20 minutes without showing a single emotion, Phillips erupts Your mother and heads towards the prosecutor's table. Black. Phillips is first grabbed by this deputy. What you can't hear on the tape is another deputy in the corner of the courtroom yelling the word taser. This is a signal for the other officer to move out of the way. Waiting for emergency personnel to arrive, the judge looks around her disheveled courtroom in disbelief. Percy Phillips, he's uh, laying on the ground. Percy Phillips is later deemed incompetent, and the indictment is dismissed. This is not the last time Phillips will see the inside of a Kentucky courtroom. Why Wait, hold up. So did did it got dismissed just because they felt he was incompetent? So they're like, all right, well, we just let it go? That's interesting. While incarcerated, He's brought up on murder charges oh. after his fingerprints link him to a two decade old homicide. That's never fun. Well, it's, that's one of those things where it's like, hey, at least they caught him. It, it, I, see, I have a weird thing about people that get caught so many years after something. I don't know how long he had been in jail, if he's been going in and out of jail anyway. But whenever you see these situations where I've watched some videos on a channel called Explore With Us or there's like JCS criminology for those that know make sure you smash that like button because those are some amazing channels but on those videos sometimes you have situations where they'll explain like a murder or something that happened and sometimes it's like 50 years later that they figure out who did it and sometimes the person isn't even alive anymore and they weren't in jail they weren't so they got to live out the rest of their life after they did a murder die naturally and then they get accused and, and so on and so forth and yes at least if family is left over they get some some understanding of what actually happened, but it's like, that always bothers me where I'm like, oh, that person murdered somebody and somehow they got away with it and lived 40, 50 plus years more of their life before they just passed away on their own and never had to deal with a single consequence of it. That's, that's a tough one to swallow. Like if I was the family and, and I was still around to find out that information, it's like, okay, at least I know now, but it's, it's hard for me to, to stomach the fact that this person was able to live out the rest of his life. You can only hope that it wasn't a great one. That's about it. But the fact that he was free and 
ah, that's a tough one. I mean, this guy got it after 20 years, but it seems like he was already in jail. I don't know if he's been in and out of jail. And the fact that he acts the way that he does, I'm assuming he's not living the greatest life, even if he wasn't. But still, that's a, that's a tough one to think that it takes so long, you know. But it is what it is sometimes. I appreciate you guys for being here. I'll catch you next video, homie.